Hello folks, we are going to talk about number systems and so specifically how to prepare for number systems. Uh, before that some context, CAT has arithmetic, algebra, number systems and geometry, biggest weightages to arithmetic, then algebra, then number systems, then geometry plus. Um, having said that number systems is vast and so people have written giant books on number systems. So we need to know what to focus on and more importantly what not to focus on especially when it comes to number systems. In number systems, I am including permutation, combination, probability and set theory. Let's dive in. HCF and LCM factors and multiples, factorials and reminders. These are the broad topics. So number system is learnt iteratively. So know the basic frameworks, prime numbers, composite numbers, factors, number of factors, product of factors, sum of factors, uh, fractions, all of that decimals, terminating decimals, rational, irrational, that framework. Then, then kind of move on to uh, factorials, reminders, reminders are giant chunk, and factorials and different bases incorporate all of that. Uh, but the beauty in number theory is beyond all of these, there are a bunch of nuggets you'll keep realizing. And so you'll realize that three digit number x, y, z can be written as 100 x plus 10 y plus z. You'll realize that a six digit number x, y, z, x, y, z is x, y, z into 1001 and 1001 is 7 into 11 into 13. So you learn uh, layers after layers after layers on top of some theory and number systems is beautiful because these layers get added only if the theoretical base is there and you will always find some nugget after having done number system for 6 months, you will hear of a nugget that suddenly sits, suddenly is added on a new question where somebody has said look you need to think like this. Suddenly somebody will say x is 0.131313, do 100 x and then subtract one from the other, you will get the rational number like nice, but I didn't know that before. So you will stumble into ideas throughout this journey in, in number system, that's to be expected, build a base so that the additional layers can be added on. Right? Now permutation combination probability is a vast topic unto itself and set theory do the basic framework, here permutation probability you get one or two question stops, you cannot let it go if you are super ambitious, but don't go crazy and do n difficult questions. Um, number systems sets the stage for some really tough mathematics, Euler's function, Fermat's little theorem, all kinds of things get added, those don't get tested. Reminders, cyclicity gets tested, fundas get tested, methods and nuggets get tested, deep into the theory that doesn't get tested. Right? So draw the boundaries of number systems well. Look at previous year questions after a point of time to get a sense of what this game is. Lots of questions on number systems are, um, are based on cracking an intuitive idea and not knowing 100 theorems and formulae. So don't get the fundas ridiculously right, like test of divisibility, like HCF and LCM, simple things but have a complete thorough understanding of them. That can unlock question rather than learning some uh, obscure formula and theorem. So keep it deep but simple. Don't expand the syllabus crazily, uh, but spend more time on gaining a more and more thorough understanding. So learn proofs, learn ideas really well. It's not a topic that gets easily defined. I've known guys who've learned number theory in textbook fashion, but can't wrap their head around two out of the six questions because they're not, they don't have an intuition on top of it. First of all, one, that's fine. You don't need to have a layer of intuition over everything. You need to crack cat and go do an MBA. Right? Second, Learn more from fundamentals, learn why stuff happens and not just how it happens, especially in number system. One, um, it's useful, two, it just makes it more fun. Uh, what, am I, what do I mean by that? Test of divisibility by four, figure out why it works. Test of divisibility by nine, just add all the digits, why does that rule work? Check that out. Uh, it's, it's enlightening, it's useful, it's fun and not in a mark scoring way, at least not directly. Indirectly, it adds up to the way you think about fundas and that pays off massively. And so, so learn this slightly with more focus on fundamentals and intuition and less on methods and formulae. Like for number of factors of a number, there's a simple formula for this. But every question in the exam is going to ask a variant for it, which will be super simple if you know why that formula works and impossible to solve if you don't have an understanding of why that formula works. So for every formula, have one sense of, hey, why does this work? That makes this whole topic more fun and, and gives you more gears, which is very important. Best wishes.
Hey, hope this video was useful. For more useful content, sign up with 2am for a 40 hour free course with us. All the best.